Hi, I'm Suzanne, a Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Canada. Welcome to another Monday Makes video on my blog and YouTube channel. For today's projects, I am featuring the amazing Congratulations stamp set. This stamp set is a three-step stamp set and you would use it when you are when you have a stamp positioner, but I don't have my stamp positioner yet. It's coming, I think in February. So I'm just going to use the outline here, the congratulations, and I'm going to use my alcohol markers, my blends to make a gradient color on the large uh, black line sentiment. So you saw I used Memento Tuxedo Black ink to stamp the sentiment and I think it's really important to reiterate that that is an alcohol safe ink so it's not going to smudge as long as you dry it first. It takes a minute to dry. If you use your archival black um, ink or any other kind of ink like uh, stays on your alcohol markers will smudge that line with um, tuxedo black me 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 memento tuxedo black ink. It's a water-based ink, so it is safe to use alcohol markers on. Okay, so I'm messily coloring here. I'm using the rich razzleberry blends and also the pink pirouette dark. So I use the two different colors of Rich Razzleberry and the darkest of the Pink Pirouette. And I have sped this up immensely so that I don't bore you to death. And I'm only showing you the Rich Razzleberry colorway. I have five examples of cards that I did this to because I was in the coloring mood and I just stamped and colored uh, the sentiment like five times. So now, because I was messily coloring, I'm going over with my white gel pen. Stampin' Up! used to sell this. They don't anymore. You can find it in your crafts, in your local craft store, and it's like a pigment ink, so it actually covers the oopsies if you go out of the lines. Because no one's a perfect colorer. I'm not. So I'm the first to admit that. So um, I just needed to, and it, it does cover very well, but don't try it on water-based markers because that it makes a mess. Trust me. I've learned that from experience. Okay, so I decided to use the Miss and Magic Specialty Designer Series paper, and this is what I came up with, the design. Um, and then I'm... I also fussy cut the congratulations out and now on a little piece of strip of paper and this just comes from when I cut down uh, some whisper white pieces I always have these little sentiment strips left over so I just snipped off the end I'm not fond of the fishtail end so I kind of go on an angle and it said you couldn't be more amazing it's a lovely card and I did put Wink of Stella on the congratulations. Okay, so for the second card, I'm starting off with my Whisper White base. And I believe this is Sweet Soiree Designer Series paper. And I'm thinking that's about an inch, two inches wide, a little bit longer. I left half an inch on the bottom. And now this would be my old Olive Daffodil Delight uh, coloring of the congratulations. And now I'm just going to snip off the ends. And that's pretty much the card aside from the You Couldn't Be More Amazing, which I inked up with Versamark ink and dipped it in some silver embossing powder and heated it from behind with my heat tool. Here's a super close up because I find this terribly interesting. And then again with my little angle cut that I do more often than not and then just adhered that flat to the card. Now, because a lot of us have been a part of paper shares, I thought it would be kind of handy to show you how to use uh, this stamp set with pattern paper 
as I think I told you or promised you before, I would make a couple of videos just trying to feature pattern paper. So that's what I'm doing. This is painted love. And surprisingly, I have decided not to use the foily side. Um, here I have some fast fuse and this is a bit of fun foam and I have decided to not abuse my dimensionals today and I'm going to use fun foam instead. So it, the, um, the pattern paper is slightly smaller than a regular card size by probably about an eighth of an inch and this is my Calypso Coral and Real Red. So I use the lightest real red and then the two different colors of Calypso Coral uh, for the blends. Now I'm putting on a gold vinyl sticker. It's page 19 in the, cat the occasions catalog that you you're going to miss them, but uh, they're super fun. So what I did was I just tore that sentiment strip and I used rich razzleberry to stamp in and I'm just going to adhere that with fast fuse in a cattywampus angle and there's that card done. I think this one might be my favorite because it's kind of whimsical. And then moving on again this is the Sweet Soiree uh, designer series paper and the blue in here is Marina Mist. Okay, so I needed to go over this. Um, this is four and a quarter, sorry, four by five and a quarter. And I put one of the, the top corner there up at one inch and then my bottom uh, right corner at the one inch side and I cut an angle. I can't explain it any easier than that. Like sometimes you could just cut an angle but they're about an inch apart so now i'm using my trimmer and trimming off that's how i do it i adhere it to um, a card base and then where my little pointer is right here i'm lining up the clear part of the track of my trimmer and it always gives me about an eighth of an inch maybe that's the reason why i like those little skinny borders <laughs> So if I need to, I can always find that exact me measurement. Okay, so now I have the, and it's a contrasting color, or sorry, a complementary color, uh, oranges to blue. So they, um, I didn't do a Calypso Coral um, plain sentiment. I decided to, uh, this was pumpkin pie, I believe. And it was just the light and the dark of pumpkin pie. So I did think that it went nicely with the blue. Like I said, they're complementary colors. So I decided to use that and I needed to um, lift up the little G there so that I could wedge in my little strip. Must be about a half an inch, I would say. And I wanted to hide sort of the little end there. So I'm fussing with it a bit. And then I just took my paper snips and uh, was very careful to make a nice straight cut along the pattern paper edge, not the uh, cardstock edge. So it does, all of it has a little border. And then that is that card. And so those are all the cards that I use with pattern paper. The next example, I'm just going to feature the stamp set completely. Um, I really like one of the little images that come in the kit and I'll show you here in a second. It's tiny and they look like little flares, little, little flowers. They're so tiny and cute. So I am sort of positioning that sentiment and then I will put little Versamark flowers all kind of behind where the sentiment is going to go. And of course I'm using silver embossing powder and heating it with my heat tool. Look at me heating from the top. It feels really weird. <laughs> All right, so you know how to emboss. So I went ahead and did that. And then again, just positioning that sentiment where I need it to go so that I can put the uh, secondary sentiment, you deserve every good thing. And I've decided to heat emboss that as well. 
and that worked out really well so it's kind of a one layer card the only thing is that the congratulations I wanted to put on with fast fuse so it's flat so this is a very flat card but it definitely has a lot of punch so in the comments below please let me know which one was your favorite and which paper you're going to try this uh, with all right thanks so much for joining me and i will see you in another video soon bye Hey, thanks for sticking around to the end of the video. On screen are two more videos for inspiration. Click on the maple leaf to visit my website or click on me to subscribe to my channel. Thanks again for watching.